Welcome to the nanoparticle kitchen. What we are doing here is not molecular gastronomy. No, thanks. Instead, we are preparing the future. Or more precisely, the future of materials. Nanoparticles. Nanoparticles. We're talking about tiny particles. Really tiny particles. Compared to this orange, they are like this orange compared to our whole planet. Can you still see me? So why is this important? For decades, our computers became faster and cheaper. This is because we were able to cram in more and more functionality into less and less space. Sorry, this is private. No problem. But now it seems this development comes to an end. Moore's law is crumbling. Mmm, tasty. Silicon parts and conductors cannot be made smaller anymore. Carbon nanotubes and graphene, however, could pave the way towards transistors in the nanometer scale. But nanotechnology could help us to open up new and tiny dimensions in a range of fields. Healthcare, agriculture, energy and transportation. Nanotechnology can facilitate what has always helped us overcome any hurdles. Innovation. Whoa, I've been here before. It has destroyed many innovations in the past. The valley of death. Before an idea can change the world, it has to go through a phase where costs are extremely high. Luckily, the European Commission comes to the rescue. They help to bridge the gap. Look what they made possible. Okay, right. We've been here before. The nanoparticle kitchen. Imagine a place where you can try out your ideas, but without having to invest in a full-fledged nano laboratory, because that would be just too expensive. It's like a common kitchen with the most cutting-edge equipment you can imagine. We have sonochemical microwave and hydrothermal reactors. We have pilot scale batch and continuous reactors. With these black boxes, we can control our reactions online. And this baby is a semi-continuous centrifuge. And there is so much more. For instance, there are lab-to-technical scale spray dryers. And of course, for particle processing, there are roll-to-roll -roll coders or fancy easy coder devices with excellent specialists who give you a hand while you're cooking. What are you working on? Fluorescent particles. Fascinating. Many of the particles created here are already in application, like layered hydroxides, for example. They make plastic fire resistant. Lucky duck? Okay now, here's our offer. Cook with us. Bring your own recipe. Together, we can develop nanoparticles and nanoparticle-based materials on a pilot scale. Refine them and test them in the nanoparticle kitchen. Come in and taste the future.